Hey, now that most of you found out how to log in, it's time to really start playing. So all of your pages look like this. Um, at the top, you're going to see something like soccer or Viking crew or whatever. It doesn't really matter what it says at the top of your page. Right now, I'm in the theme page um, because right now we're all doing a practice page of the same exact topic. And our topic is going to be Spirit Week. So you're going to be able to change the headline to whatever you want. I'm just gonna put basic spirit week, but you could be more creative. Um, a sub headline means something you might wanna say underneath it. Um, it could be, um, we show spirit together, I don't know. Um, notice how my words disappeared there. I wanna show you that, see where this red box is? Um, I'm in the text box right now. <clears throat> if I go back and I click on this and I click here, I can spread this out and it's gonna open this text box up to show more words. I don't like that it's over here on the left. So I can actually shift this whole thing to the right a little bit to get it offset like it was before. Um, I was gonna put an exclamation point so I can go back in there I clicked on the text box again. I've gone back into the space and I can click here. If I want to change the color of the text, I'm gonna highlight it and go here where it says text. Right now, just black and white is showing. But if I click here where it says show more, it's gonna show all sorts of colors. We typically use ones in this purple because of our school colors. So I'm gonna click on this one here. It's not very purple. I might change it and go with this one. And now you can see it's got a little color there. Um, that's how I change the color. But if I wanna change the size, I would come over here because that's a sub um, headline. I might wanna make it smaller than it actually is. And then I could also here, I could change it to bolt. Um, here I could change it to times instead of Helvetica. We're really right now only stuck with two types of fonts. So um, I know that's not that exciting, but play with the two fonts we have. Now I'm gonna go back to the select tool and I wanna start playing with the pictures. Click down here on photo tray and you're gonna click on recommended to spread. I put in here spirit week, you're gonna click on that. And it has, I don't know, maybe about a hundred photos in here. Some of them look like duplicates because like this one here is a, the same student, one where he's doing a thumbs up, one where his arms are down. So you would go through here and find the pictures that you think would work best to fill all these photo spots. Um, I'm just gonna find what I wanna use. Okay. I like this one. I'm gonna put him here in this top center spot because I think it's a fun photo. He's by himself. Um, a tall, skinny photo really is only good for one person usually. Notice how when I drag it there, the box around it became blue. When I let go, it's gonna go into that space. Sometimes you get this where it says replace text with image, just say yes or click on it. And then there's my photo. Notice it kind of zoomed in on him. If I want to change the zoom on this, I'm going to double click and I actually could zoom in a little bit closer and get just him and almost nobody else in that photo in the background. And then for all of these, these are all other photos. I can go back to photo tray and just start dragging photos to fill in for Spirit Week. I wanna zoom in on her, so I double clicked on it. I'm gonna zoom in. I can move where this box is and say done. So those are some things you guys can play with. Um, once you've got this filled in, you might wanna come up here and, and if you know who the student is, you could type his name and say, um, I don't know who this is. I'm gonna say George, probably not his name at all. Um, 
showing his culture. This is something I'm typing so badly, something we really value at Showalter. Okay, that seems really small, but you don't wanna make it too huge. Uh, the template here has got fonts selected by artists, people who are graphic designers. Um, instead of playing with the font too much, what I might do is pick the select tool and bring this box down so that the quote is closer to where he is instead of floating above it. Um, if I don't think I spelled everything right, so I can't read it that well right now. So I'm gonna click on the zoom tool and I can zoom in. And I can scroll to make sure I spelled things right. Um, yeah, I didn't even spell culture right. So I've got the text tool again, and I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna fix my words. It's like I spelled Showalter wrong, but actually I don't think it likes how we spell Showalter. It's one of those words that's probably not in the dictionary, but I'm zooming in to make sure I spelled it right and I don't think I still have it right. I'm gonna click on the text tool again, George showing his culture. This is something we really value at Show Walter. Yeah, I still have it spelled wrong. There we go. So it's tempting to just delete these, but a page is much more interesting if there's some words. So as you're playing with this, oh, for Zoom, um, once you've zoomed in so crazily close, to get it back out, you can go up to this view and say fit to page. And that's gonna show you the whole two page spread again. Because we have this page over here that's almost all photos, I really want you to think about what you could be putting in the words on this side. Um, and another thing to realize is you could also use Actually, no, I'm not gonna show you that now. I think you have enough to play with. So you can um, add photos, you can change font sizes, you can change colors of fonts, um, add some captions to your pictures, zoom in on pictures. Right now I realize I put these two girls next to each other and they both have baskets with their stuff. Maybe not the most creative use of two photos next to each other because we had lots of things going on in Spirit Week. So I might wanna move her photo Oops, I just tried to click on it and I can't because I'm on the text tool still. I have to go back up to the select tool and click on this. And if I go to object, I can say remove photo. Um, and yeah, now I can go back into photo tray and find something different. Here, yeah, maybe this one. That doesn't seem good either because that's a lot of people and I think it's too small in that space. So I'm gonna use it here. That's better. And oh my gosh, people with a cooler. That's pretty funny. That's not a good place for it though because you can't see them or the cooler. So I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put it here. I can click on it and zoom in a little bit. We've got a cooler and a suitcase, pretty clever. All right, so there's the idea. Uh, play with your page. Don't forget when you're leaving it, you wanna click file and hit save and close. And I'm gonna give you a couple of days to just play around and see what you can do. Don't be afraid to um, put things in and take them out and change them, but try really hard to leave your layout exactly like it is. You don't want to move these photos around or anything. You just want to put photos in the places that they're in. All right. Enjoy. Have some fun with your um, creation. And uh, next week, we'll be doing some more work with the covers you guys have been picking out. So thanks for that. Bye.